Hello, Shakir speaking. Previously, we have made the co uh, cookie based uh, token based authentication, but we will not do that. We will create the token based uh, cookie based authentication. So, which is more secure than the uh, uh, than the token based authentic merely token based authentication. So, for that reason, we need to have some code in our code base, and that should be raise dot cookie res dot cookie and give it a name you can uh, give it any sort of name i am giving it token or give it your name say i want to make sure whether it is working or not and give it token and and give it http only http only true okay that will do and we want to send the user not token in the front end okay let's see let's see we set up the cookie let's see the token will come in a different way so what's wrong let's see let's check unexpected token invalid on unexpected token okay i gave it a semicolon but it should be comma okay you can you, you can give it secure true if it is http as we are not working right now in the https so it will do it will give us the perfect result i think so let's see and go to the network tab go to login we you see no this is not the perfect one what we are looking for let's log in uh, another time maybe this is the previous one and another thing we want to do we want to uh, remove the all the data storage clear the data and let's see it has nothing okay after uh, loading we are going to uh, set the cookie as the name is shakil and this path will be http only let's see what will happen okay so login go to the network tab let's log in you see boom we are successful you see sh shakil and token is coming in that way and path is http only as we said http only true you see shakil so we are successful to send our uh, token in a set cookie so this is more secure than the token based authentication this is cookie based authentication so so how to uh, our our uh, page is loading you see button is loading we don't like that we want to redirect our page to another uh, page if anyone successful logs in so before that we want to uh, set up our context api the global api you can use redux but i am using context api for uh, global state management and from this context api we will collect our user data okay so for that reason you need to create a folder in client inside client mm, and give it a name context context and inside context create a file now give it a name index.js okay and you need to uh, set up the file initial uh, context api file uh, initial configuration so as i i have the file already written so just copy and paste this this configuration file is almost same in every so use effect i am using it later but i want to use the rest of the things and to set up what we need to do you see we have the context provider and go to the pages app and wrap the uh, wrap all of your component with provider okay then context api will work for you enter 
entire system will be wrapped by the context provider 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 and begin from the context file will be auto imported and wrap the wrap your entire app js so if you wrap it if you your whole system will be wrapped okay so i think it will work just fine and not only that we need another thing so we need to go in the index page oh sorry login page and uh, we as we want to redirect and uh, we need to use redirect and along with that we need to bring the context api okay so for the reason we need what we need over here we need dispatch 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 we need dispatch type type login and payload data type login and payload payload data okay and we want to save in the it in the local storage otherwise it will not stay over there so window dot local storage local storage dot set item set item in the name of user it will be stored over there user and this on stringify data so we hope this will uh, save our mm, uh, data in the local storage and not only that we need another thing we need the state you can't for context api state and it should be const state dispatch this pass use context context okay and we need router we need router so const router equal to use router okay so we need to import the context import context from context and import use router from next router next router so we think we are good to go let's see whether we are getting our data in the you see we uh, you have to have 
the component uh, plugins over here this is the if you don't have as i have already if you don't have just go to the uh what's this name components uh context api google com extension context dev tool no this is not i am using you have to look components okay use context is not defined it gives us some error use context yeah we have not defined yet so defined use context or from react use context components uh, com what's this name components components google quorum extension for context api i think this one no this is not it has been changed register okay right now i am not finding but if you look uh, look after you will get it i am using use context 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 is not defined i have defined already context it has gone context what is the state oh, i have defined it two times okay i have defined but i don't know where it go I have gone okay let's import context context from <coughs> context and import use router yeah we have already so i think it will work and we are pushing it mm we are pushing uh we need to redirect it you see redirect redirect it okay router dot push and redirect it to the home page okay use context let's see what happened okay i have <laughs> used this call outside of my scope that's why it created problem so i think this time it will work perfectly okay let's see this time what will happen there is no error it doesn't shows any error we are pretty good to go let's log in reading data so i have some typos and comma semicolon problems so uh, i hope this time it will work perfectly okay let's go to the login and see if we hit the login button it's redirecting to uh, my, our home page as we have said over here you see router push look uh, uh, front page okay 
so let's check another things let's go for the network tab and go to login this is login and do you see we are hitting the perfect endpoint it's 200 okay we got our token in the cookie path http only and go to application tab and you see the local storage you get that payload data and it is saving in the local storage okay and finally go to the component folder if you go to the use provider context provider you will say the user is out right now in the state we wanted that okay that was a, that was our ultimate goal to get all the users in the state and uh, if you refresh it will not uh, banish it will will be saved over here because we are uh, saving it in the local store local storage windows local store set item and in the context we are getting it item get item you see get item so we can use our uh, right now from the context api we can use our user so in the next tutorial we are going to create the lo uh, logout functionality so if you like the video please like share and subscribe and stay tuned